A frog had been living in a well for a long time. Once a frog from the ocean came hopping in. They both began conversing. The frog of the well asked, This ocean where you have come from, how big is it? The ocean frog responded, Brother, it is so huge. The well frog went to one edge of his well and jumped to the other edge. He said, Is it as big as my well? The ocean frog said, No, it's much bigger. The well frog said, Is it two times the size of my well? No, 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 even bigger. Ten times the size of my well? Even bigger. Hundred times? No, even bigger than that. The well frog dismissed him. How can that be? How can anything be more than a hundred times bigger than my well? Now you will laugh at the silliness of this well frog. Its intellect has been conditioned by the little well in which it has spent its whole life. But the fact is, our perspective too gets funneled and tunneled by the limited realm of our lifetime experience. Ultimately, the intellect with which we challenge, we will understand great things is powered by this tiny brain, which is not even more than two fingers in breadth. And on the strength of that tiny brain and intellect, we challenge God, anything that I cannot understand is wrong or cannot be. Instead of that, let us adopt a humble attitude and compare the insignificance of our personality compared to the enormity of existence. With that humbleness, when we surrender our intellect to God, we begin receiving the infinite grace which enables us to understand things that are far beyond the grasp of material intellect. That is why in the Shvetashvata Rupanishad there is a Vedic mantra. Yo Brahmanam Vidadhati Purvam Yo Vai Vedam Shcha Prahinoti Tasmai Tagvam Ha Devamatma Buddhi Prakasham Mamukshur Vai Sharanamaham Prapadye That Supreme Lord who illumined the Vedic knowledge in the heart of the firstborn Brahma and who is to be known through all the Vedic scriptures. I am surrendering to that Supreme Lord. May He illumine my intellect with divine knowledge. It is that surrender that brings about the divine illumination and not the pride of our own intellect.